Hey guys, and uh, welcome in this uh, special video. Uh, special video because uh, for once I'm not in my usual world, but uh, in a new world I created uh, like um, three weeks ago. Uh, created it because I was uh, feeling a bit bored in uh, my uh, usual world where everything is so easy to get for me since I've been playing in it for quite some time now. So uh, I decided to create a new world and uh, give uh, myself uh, some uh, challenge to see how long it will take me to climb the tech tree. Not sure if climb is a correct word, but well, you get the idea. So yeah, how much time I'll need uh, to uh, get up to steel and uh, also to build uh, a scrap tower. So uh, that's uh, this building over there. Uh, that's uh, what I wanted to make in this world. Uh, most of my uh, there is a wolf contraption uh, gathered in uh, one uh, single place uh, in a 40 by uh, 40 area. So the top part is the mob farm, passive and uh, aggressive. And uh, under that, there's uh, the different farm, as you saw on the, the previous part. And I'm gonna quickly show you uh, how it works inside. and. Uh, you can uh, see it for yourself because uh, the download link for the world is in the description so you can uh, download it and uh, have a look uh, by yourself so well I'll uh, join you inside so I'm not gonna show you more of the mob trap uh, you know what the mob trap is there's nothing special uh, the top part is for the passive mobs and uh, the part in there is for the other mobs and, uh, we're gonna quickly go under so in this floor we have the different farms uh, wheat farm very classic, uh, using block dispensers. Uh, yeah. It's not completely finished because I only found uh, four or five dungeons in this world, so I don't have uh, enough uh, mossy stone to make the dispensers, but I'll do that eventually. Uh, this part here is the mushroom farm. It just got out of rested uh, a few minutes ago, so there's not much mushroom left. This part is the reed farm using pistons, nothing special, and the M farm with the same design as the reed farm. And in the middle of this are a place where let me get up. The items are falling from the mob traps into four different uh, place. There's one for all of the uh, mob uh, mob drops, and uh, we'll get into the filtering part, which is under. So. All of the items are falling uh, somewhere here in the middle and uh, are being uh, filtered and channeled into different uh, area. Uh, the different mob drops going uh, for the string for example into a cauldron, the feather going into a stocked uh, cauldron, um, the pork shop is going uh, into the dunk farm, which is uh, under here, you can maybe hear the wolves under. So that's uh, a small system I made to equally split the pork shop into four different uh, block dispenser. So every time a pork shop uh, falls in front of the dispenser, it sends a signal to uh, this small uh, memory unit. I'll show you. And 
uh, it's uh, switching uh, which uh, dispenser is being uh, filled but uh, I'll let you have a look at it and uh, finally all of the different uh, farms and mob traps are falling down into this collection area so let's resume it uh, the wool is falling into one of these uh, three chests here three upper uh, when the upper wheel spool sends a signal to a piston above it to uh, make the water go into the next upper so there's three different chests for the wool so I've got enough time um, these two ones are for the mushroom farms uh, these five ones here are for the bones and iron Uh, there's a small cactus farm uh, above, and the uh, cactus are, sp are falling here. Um, there's a switch to prevent the chicken from being killed, so this way uh, they'll lay the eggs here. The reed farm uh, is connected to all of these chests here. Um, the gunpowder from the mob trap are falling here. The feathers are falling into this uh, cauldron which can be uh, stuck to get glue uh, the string is falling into this one to get wool uh, that's connected to nothing that's just the one uh, the cauldron I used to cook some of the food I had while I was making the the well this system anyway um, the M fibers from the M palm because the amp is falling into a millstone and the amp fibers are coming here into this chest here the amp seals are coming here even if they're useless um, the wheat uh, farm is connected to for the seeds this chest and uh, for the wheat uh, it's uh, being converted in a floor uh, in a Millstone, and they're falling either in the this cauldron here to make donuts, or into a chest to make bread. Because uh, I'd rather use bread instead of donuts. And uh, this button here allows me to select in which one they're gonna fall. Uh, right now it's the last one because it's only one uh, lit up. And it's staying uh, lit up every time. Uh, this one now it's calling into the cauldron, and uh, well, won't show you more in this video. Um, the laser from the mob trap is uh, going into a millstone and falling into here, and uh, the the tank factory, sorry, is connected to the same place. So this. Uh, cauldron is used to make the town laser. Uh, I uh, placed a lot of cauldron here to dye wool, so one for every color. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can also find uh, a small and compact uh, kiln uh, slash uh, crucible slash cauldron. Uh, if you want to check out how uh, it's made, uh, you can just uh, go down from this trailer here. And uh, uh, I'll stop this video here to make it uh, not too long. Uh, if you want me to explain you uh, one specific part a bit uh, more, just uh, ask in the comment below. And uh, don't forget that you can uh, download this map to check it out by yourself. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, sorry if I'm not making much video lately, but uh, I just got the third work. I already had uh, two work, one by day and uh, one uh, half of the night. And I just got the third one, so I really, really don't have much time for myself lately. So don't blame me. Uh, I've 
still thinking about you and making videos. Uh, just that uh, I have a really small amount of time uh, available for myself. So, yeah, that's it. Um, goodbye, guys. See you. Enjoy.